Mr. Acting Ambassador, um, the European Union uh, has been meeting in Brussels today. What action would you like to see come out of Brussels? Well, our European leaders are discussing two main things. How to respond to Russia, one, and what, in what ways to offer its, uh, their support to Georgia. Quite yes. frankly, we are obviously in for, in, in interested more in the latter because Georgia needs European support in today as never before. Georgia has had European support. Uh, words coming out of Brussels are in support of yes. Georgia. No doubt about that. Um, Javier Solana, he's sending monitors uh, to Georgia. But would you like the EU to go further? Would you like to see sanctions now? Well, this is up to European leaders to decide whether they are prepared to actually awaken to the new reality. And there is a new reality, let's face it. Russia is restoring, uh, at least trying to restore its uh, empire, empire in its so Soviet glory. And it has started it with Georgia. Uh, well, we in Georgia think, looking at it from the historical perspective, that unless uh, stopped and challenged now, uh, this aggression will only gain momentum. It was Russia that chose confrontation with the West, not vice versa. So Russia is on the collision course with the West and further longer it takes for uh, the Europeans to respond. Deeper inside the European territory this co collision will occur and more painful it will be. But it's, I'm, I'm repeating, we're not in position to give our European friends so advice on what and how to do so it. So you, you, you won't talk about sanctions. Um, are you concerned, nevertheless, at the seeming division within Europe at how to approach this? From the very beginning we were very much afraid of Europe repeating the going down the same path it chose to do in the 1930s when there were first clear signs of aggression from one of the great powers in, in Europe. Uh, only the uh, policy of, of appeasement that was chosen by some European leaders actually allowed the aggressor to go into unthinkable. No one would have believed in the 30s that uh, Hitler would actually go into war with Europe, especially on the two fronts. But this soft approach, the weakness of Europe that they demonstrated, made unplausible perfectly possible. Today, no one thinks Russia can afford the new Cold War because it's simply not strong enough as Soviet Union was. But the soft approach, the weakness, if they, this weakness is shown, will make it possible. And your government is worried that Europe is being soft on Moscow? Well, we have to see uh, the outcome of the summit. Uh, most importantly, what we expect of the summit is a very strong support for Georgia. We need the six-point uh, agreement won't implement. Cut, words won't cut much ice in Moscow. Yes, yes, yes. But believe me, words, weakness will be noticed and it will affect the further actions by Russia. Do you believe Georgia perhaps is being caught up in some kind of new Cold War struggle between the West and Russia, with Georgia just caught in the middle? Well, unfortunately, Russia chose to... Uh, re-emerged to, to reinstate its former empire uh, and started with started it with Georgia but and we know that it's not just a chance we are being punished for our choice of freedom for our choice of West pro-western foreign policy for our attempts to integrate with Europe that was why it made us number one secondly there is a geopolitical uh, dimension to this Russia is trying to control all uh, imports, uh, exports from the uh, Caspian and Central Asian region, all energy exports. And by cutting this connecting link, which is Georgia, this effectively gain, gives Russia great degree of control over the energy supplies in Europe. Europeans should be worried. Let's talk about NATO. Would you like NATO to accelerate Georgia's application for membership now? The most important thing that the West in general, NATO and European Union should do in response to Russia's aggression is to continue what Russia was trying to prevent, Georgia's integration with, with, with Europe and Euro-Atlantic institutions. That means specifically to ensure that 
Georgia is still on the track towards NATO. Uh, we're not, we never looked for, we never been looking for shortcuts. As soon as, as, as much as we comply with the criteria, we should be given further integration with NATO. Georgia should be given a stabilization and uh, uh, stabilization uh, agreement with, uh, with Europe, uh, similar to Balkans. So Georgia has to be actually drawn closer to Europe. Uh, finally, Mr. Saakashvili must be regretting his action now in South Ossetia that started all this off. Well, let's, let's not repeat what Russian propaganda blames us. Russia has been planning this war in, for a long time. Russia has been preparing this, wanting, trying, and Russia has started. Let's not make any mistake about that. This a military action was started by Russia through its proxies in Skin Valley and then by direct invasion. All right, Mr. Acting Ambassador, many thanks for joining us. Thank you very much.